Overnight, the president calling for the death penalty, tweeting NYC terrorist was happy as he asked to hang ISIS flag in his hospital room, adding should get death penalty. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. President Trump has continued to voice strong opinions in the wake of the deadly truck attack in New York City. Police say Sefolo Saipov drove a large Home Depot truck swerving into a bike lane, mowing down pedestrians for nearly 20 blocks, almost a full mile, leaving eight dead. We'll have to come up with punishment that's far quicker and far greater than the punishment these animals are getting right now. Because what we have right now is a joke and it's a laughing stop. President Trump taking a tough stance on the man being labeled a terrorist, a stark contrast to the shooting in Las Vegas 30 days earlier, when for days the White House said it was inappropriate to talk about politics or policy. But the president hasn't stopped the political tweets since they started within hours of the New York attack, taking aim at the diversity lottery program that allowed the suspect into the U.S. seven years ago. Diversity. Lottery sounds nice. It's not nice. It's not good. So we want to immediately work with Congress on the diversity lottery program on terminating it, getting rid of it. And despite the president calling that a Democrat lottery system, that diversity visa program was signed into law by Republican President George H.W. Bush. It provides about 50,000 visas every year out of millions of applicants. And Diane and Kendis, everyone who gets accepted gets a background check. Mm -hmm. And it had bipartisan support there in Congress. Janae Norman, thank you.